Hey everyone, welcome back. In this section, uh, I'm going to explain a lot of different concepts used in Jenkins pipeline over a series of different videos, right? So in this first part, we are going to cover uh, these different sections. So we'll cover what is Jenkins pipeline, why we want to use Jenkins pipeline, what are the advantages, what are the different concepts which are uh, used within a pipeline script, right? We'll also look at some real-time examples of building pipeline jobs in Jenkins using different languages, right? So if you have worked in a continuous delivery environment or a DevOps environment, you must have heard about pipeline, right? So all our activities are bind, bind, binded together to form a pipeline in a development lifecycle, right? So a typical example of a pipeline could be uh, we build our software, we test our software, and then we deliver our software to our clients. So that's a typical pipeline, right? Now there could be a number of tasks which go in delivering that particular pipeline. And those tasks could be covered with the help of a Jenkins pipeline job, right? Now, what is it? It is a collection of different plugins which help us perform those tasks which are required to uh, complete that particular pipeline, right? Now we can build a normal to very complex pipeline, uh, continuous delivery pipelines using Jenkins, and uh, they could be built by two ways. So the first way is the Jenkins file. Uh, now, if you're using a Jenkins file, it could be part of your code repository and you can build pipeline as code uh, in your delivery pipeline. So basically that means Jenkins file can be checked out, checked in, um, and you can also put versioning on your Jenkins file, right? So it's basically like your, um, your code, uh, which you are checking in every day and uh, checking out, right? So, that is the first way. And the second way is uh, by creating a simple pipeline script, which is in Groovy. So that will be part of your job configuration. And you need to change that every time you want to make any changes to your pipeline script, right? But that won't be maintained in a code repository. So that's one disadvantage of that. And then pipeline uh, also provides its own DSL right which means the domain specific language by the help you by the help of which you can create complex pipelines so that's why that's um, that's what is a pipeline and then coming to next uh, why should we use a pipeline now as i said earlier we can easily use pipeline as code using the jenkins file and then um, it's pretty durable because uh, if by chance your Jenkins server goes down or it's broken, it doesn't affect your Jenkins pipelines, right? Uh, now, in terms of possible, so you can pause your pipeline at any stage and ask for user input. Now, this is pretty useful when you are uh, building a continuous delivery pipeline and you want approvals before deploying it to production, right? So at that point, you can pause your Jenkins pipeline get your approvals and then continue to deploy it to production. Now it's pretty versatile uh, pipelines because it can, it can do a lot of other things, right? It can perform tasks on a very complex delivery pipeline. It can uh, run your pipelines in parallel, right? You can fork your pipelines, you can run it on any machines uh, or any nodes, any different nodes. So, it's quite versatile in nature. And finally, you can extend your pipeline um, as far as you can with the help of plugins, right? So you can um, integrate with other plugins and extend your pipeline uh, to uh, whatever your uh, continuous delivery requires. Now, coming to pipeline concepts, which are used while building a pipeline is, first is the, the pipeline job right which contains all the different steps which we need to perform in order to deliver our product and then uh, the node so node is nothing but it's a machine uh, where or a agent where we want to run our jobs so 
it could be a docker machine it could be a virtual machine next is a stage so stage is a collection of steps right so there could be a number of steps within a stage and we could have multiple stages in our continuous delivery pipeline so a typical pipeline has a build a test and a deploy stage so these are the three stages which a default pipeline will have and then the step so step is nothing but it is a individual task which is performed as part of pipeline and will have a multiple steps within a stage right so these are the different concepts so now coming to uh, real time examples right so if you want to follow along uh, this tutorial uh, or video i would say you should be running uh, jenkins on docker i would explain why it's uh, useful to do that right you can also do without that but i would still recommend you to uh, run your jenkins on docker so let's go ahead and create a simple pipeline and then we'll see how we can create simple pipeline jobs in different languages so i'll select pipeline i'll give it click ok and then i will straightly go to the pipeline section so this is the pipeline script and this is the jenkins file which can be taken from a source code management like github or git so this is a pipeline script which is in the groovy sandbox right and uh, i have different samples available with me so which belong to different languages you can see here so we would be picking up some of them not all so let's start with a simple java maven pipeline right so this is now we just save this and we'll build now so currently my jenkins is running on a docker machine and the reason why i said it's useful is when you run your different pipelines on different languages you need to set up all these on your local machine right so instead of that if you just give the image and you run it on a docker it will automatically download this image it will run this container for you and then you can run your job on this agent right and you can frequently change that depending on your docker images right so it's pretty so pipelines are actually built to support the docker images and it's pretty easy to work with pipelines when you are using a docker image rather than um, running everything on your server or your, or on your local right so that's it and let's see how far we have reached for our build so i think it's success let's have a look at our um, logs so here is our console output and if you see so it has downloaded this image it has started running this container and then uh, somewhere it will be printing the maven version right so here it is printing the maven version which is present on that particular virtual machine so i'll quickly run through some of the other examples to show you how you can configure pipelines in different languages so i'll just change this pipeline script or so let's try to run a ruby pipeline so let's do this and save it and then we'll run it uh, so basically this is the stage view where you can see different stages of your pipeline currently we have only build stage so it is running another uh, another another build stage for this particular job right and we can see the console output while it is being built so as you can see it has taken this ruby image from the docker it has started running the container and then it also printed that ruby version present on the machine so one final uh, i would pick 
a pipeline python pipeline so which is obviously very popular so let's configure and quickly run this so we'll save it and we'll do build now so that it runs this time around i'm going to open the blue ocean interface so which is an improved interface which is specially built for pipelines right the pipeline view is pretty good in this uh, interface so as you can see it, it shows all your builds here um, and all the other information on the top and it also you can also see your logs uh, for each stage which are present right so it's pretty useful to see this i'll just pause this video uh, so that it completes it will take some time to complete so welcome back um, we the build has completed now and we can see the python version printed here right now in this blue ocean interface it doesn't show all the logs right it only shows the logs for each build uh, or each stage in your pipeline but it doesn't show the other logs like um, the logs for the node or the docker image right so if we go back um, let me exit from this view and sorry so let me just go to the logs um so yeah so you can see here right it is pulling all the images for python so these are not available in the blue ocean interface and it prints the python version it stops the container and removes it right so that's it for uh, this particular section of the pipeline now we'll see a lot of other concepts which are all also available in by uh, in the pipeline jenkins pipeline right so finally uh, please share your valuable comments or any feedback related to this video or any other video with me don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel qa script so that you don't miss out on any new videos which will be released on a weekly basis also you can visit me at qascript.com thank you